Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 25 video and today I'm going to show you how to make a mod from base game equipment so that if you want to edit things you can do that without messing up things if you want to do multiplayer or anything like that. So for example I have taken this Flegel trailer and made it very cheap. So this is the Flegel ASW 271 and I've made it 520 pounds dollars or euros rather than 52,000 so yeah I'll uh I'll show you how to do that we're going to jump out of the game go out to the desktop and have a look at what you need to do you are going to need 7-zip and ideally something like notepad plus 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 to do this I'll put links for those down below First thing you're going to want to do is locate where you have installed Farming Simulator. I have Farming Simulator 25 installed from Giant, and that means it's on my C drive under Program Files and Farming Simulator 25. If you've installed it from Steam, it will be wherever your Steam library is. I will leave that down to you to find it. If you are struggling to find where the game files are installed, this video may not be for you. That may sound harsh, but you need some level of understanding of how files and things work to do this. Once you've found that, you're going to go into data and you're going to locate the vehicle that you vehicle or item you want to modify. So we're going to go into data, into vehicles, and then pick whatever it is you want to modify. So I should have picked something I have not. Let's have a look at um, cramp. Just because I know it'll have a trailer, and trailers are generally easy to do. So we will go for the big body 750. Okay, so the two files that you want to get, I'm going to change the view to the details view because I find that easier to look at. You're going to want to grab this file, the XML file, and you're going to want to grab the store file. So select both of those and copy them. So press Control C or right click and do copy. We're then going to need a folder to build our mod in. You can create that folder wherever you want. For me, it's on my D drive. It's just called mods. And what we're going to do is right click new folder and then name it what you want it to be called. So we're going to do FS 25 big body edit. Go into there and paste the two files that you've copied. Now we're going to need a mod description file. I've downloaded the John Deere 7810 off of ModHub. It's just appeared on ModHub from Giants. And what we're going to do is extract that. So right click on it. If you've got 7-zip installed, I'm running Windows 11. If you're running Windows 10, this shows up automatically, but select more options. If you're running Windows 11, do 7-zip and extract to John Deere. 7810 or whatever mod you've downloaded go into there grab the mod description file copy it with Control c go back up and go into your folder that you've created paste that in and then we're going to edit this file so as i said i like using notepad plus plus for this it's quite a nice tool for editing xml and the first thing we're going to do is change the name so you just select that and we're going to type in big Body it did. Um, in terms of the descriptions and things, I'm going to delete the French and the German ones. If you're French or German, you might choose to keep those. And I'm going to delete everything that's in orange and just replace it with big body edited as well. You might choose to put something more informative in there. That's up to you. Then what we need to do is go back to our file explorer window. I'm going to again change the view to details because that's what I prefer. And we want to get the uh, the name of this store file. Now, it's not an ideal one or an icon, but it will work. And this is about giving you something that will work. So it's not perfect. Uh, we're then going to go back and get the name of the XML file. And we paste that in here. And we're pretty much done. We can just save this and close. Assuming you haven't made any mistakes, that's the basis of basics of our mod. We'll just open this up quickly and let's just make a couple of quick changes. So a bit like I did before, we'll just make it a little bit cheaper. And let's say, for example, 
we very quickly wanted to make the capacity bigger. So capacity is down here. Let's say we want to make it hold about 2 million liters and we'll do an um, update mass equals false. And that will mean that the trailer won't get heavier when we fill it up. So if we save that as well and close it, now what we need to do is create the zip file to put into your mods folder. So highlight all of the files, right click again with Windows 11, show more options, go to 7-zip and then add to and it will select the dot zip option and it will give it the name of the folder that you've created. So select that. And then what we're going to do is copy this. Uh, so I'm just going to select it and press Control C. And now we need to go get our mods folder. So the mods folder for whichever version of the game you've got is going to be in documents, my games, farming simulator 25, and then just into mods. And you'll see I've got a few in here already. Uh, the government subsidy sign, because it was available. The edited cow shed that I've been using for doing some of my other videos and the edited trailer that I just show you. And we are just going to paste that in. Yes, I have some that aren't zipped. That's not ideal. Really, you want to zip them up. So let's load the game up now and see if it has worked. So the first thing to check, does your trailer or whatever you've edited appear? If it doesn't, then go check your log file. Look for errors. Your log file will be in the same place as your mods folder. If things aren't working, my advice, go back and start again. I'm not going to provide everyone with endless support on how to do this if it doesn't work. It's a very simple process. Uh, we can just let the game load up now and we can have a look at our new trailer and we'll see what it says the capacity is and the I think I edited the price as well. But this is going to be the basis of the next video that I'm about to record. So there we go. Um, so if we go into the store now and we go down to trailers, we'll scroll down. We'll see we've got our edited cramp trailer that can hold up to 2 million liters and costs us 355 pounds. And if we open up the console, as we go in, you'll see no warnings or errors or anything like that, which is really nice. So yeah, let's buy it, shall we? Assume, not sure what adjusts the capacity, but buy, yes, please. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's, uh, let's buy a tractor to attach it to, shall we? You'll do. There we go. So there is our edited trailer. It cost us 300 pounds. So yeah, if uh, if you found this video useful, then uh, please click the like button. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.